Good morning, boys and girls. It's another uh, nice time to see you this morning, to know that you are still following the Bible story for the whole of that week about the lost son and how God loves his children. And now, as we, before we, we watch the video that you want to watch, I want us to pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you because you had been with us the whole of that week. Thank you because of the love you have for each one of us, oh God, and the way you have, you have also uh, taught us how to love one another. As we sit down and uh, watch the video, help these children to understand everything in that video. In Jesus' name we pray. Now children, I want you to sit down and watch the video, and I know you are going to learn a lot. Thank you. Jesus once told a parable about a father and his two grown-up sons. The wise father knew that his younger son wasn't prepared for a real life. You see, the son wanted to leave home, so he asked his father for his inheritance, a lot of money. The kind father was very rich and very generous, so he gave his son what he wanted. The son packed up his belongings, hopped on his horse, and went off into the world. His father loved him and was disappointed to see him go. He was concerned about what would happen to his son. His younger son was immature, wasteful, and not prepared to live responsibly. The father was right. The younger son had no concern for tomorrow and lived only for today. He had tons of money and went to do all the wild and crazy things that a foolish young man could dream of. Girls, drinking, parties. He thought it was great. Everyone wanted to be his friend. But that did not last long. It was not long until the son lost all his money. Suddenly, no one wanted to be his friend. He became an outcast in a foreign land. No money, no friends, and no food. The young son realized his foolishness. All that he had was gone. Then he did the only thing he could think of, to try and find some work so he could eat. Oh, he found a job, all right. But it was the worst job imaginable. He fed pigs. In his culture, pigs were unclean. Just to touch them was considered wrong and defiling. The young man was so hungry that he even started thinking about eating the pig's food, but no one gave him any. Suddenly, a thought came to him. Why was he here, lonely, hungry, and miserable? Why did he leave his father's house? I will go back, the son decided. Even if I have to feed the animals, I'd rather do it in my father's house. If my father is angry, so be it. I deserve it. I just need to come home. And so he did. Dirty and bedraggled, tired and worn, he journeyed back to his father's house. He was still far from home, but then he saw someone running towards him on the path. Who was this? Who could it be? It was his father. Now, children, I think you have learned something that when that is how God embraces us when we say sorry, when we do wrong and we say sorry, that is how God receives us and He tell, and He loves He continues loving us. Because you see how that father, he didn't chase his cha, his son uh, 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 back, he just embraced him and he said, because the son said sorry. Even us, when we say sorry to mommy or to daddy or to somebody that we have wronged, God, you love us the way he loved, that father loved his son. Therefore, my, 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 my prayer is that children, we continue loving others, we continue loving even those who doesn't love us, and God will continue loving us. And as we continue, we, we lap up this week of Sea Week, my prayer is that you are, going, you are going to be good children who love one another. May you have a good time, children. May you continue enjoying the holiday, and may you have a merry, merry, merry Christmas. We love you as teachers, as your teachers. All of us, we love you the way also God loves you. Let us pray. 
Father, we want to thank you because you had been with us the whole of that week. Thank you because you have taught us how to love one another, just like the father embraced the, his son who, who has, had run away. And when he came back, he continued loving him. Therefore, we love you, God, and continue loving our children, Jehovah Master, even at, at this time, they are still at home. Help us to have a Merry Christmas and even to, have, to love one another because you also love us. We love you and we honor you because this is a humble prayer of faith. In Jesus' name we pray. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Bye-bye, children. We love you so much.